Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again. So for today's video, I'll be reviewing a new lipstick launch from Smashbox and it's called the Always On Cream to Matte Lipstick. So let me tell you what the company claims. So Smashbox is a high-end brand. They have uh, some really good stuff, makeup stuff. So this is called the Always On Cream to Matte Lipstick. What it does is actually it is a creamy lipstick that changes into a completely matte finish after you apply it on your lips this is what it is and uh, this is the ingredients list but um, it's got uh, just normal ingredients nothing special so what it claims is cream to matte formula transforms to a velvety matte on contact this is very true it has a cream uh, formula in the bullet but it transforms into a super matte finish when you apply it on your lips lasts all day i agree with this as well it's going to last you for a long long time and it's not going to fade or flake it's going to maybe come off a little bit with oily food but not so much it comes off very less and it has primer oil com complex which makes it feel light and comfortable i don't know exactly what that is saturated pigment yes it is heavily pigmented high pigment one swipe full pigment and uh, you can line your lips if you want like they say and then fill in with the lipstick or you can just apply the lipstick directly and remember to close the cap tightly because this formula is a little bit different as in it dries on contact with air so this is what the company claims now i have two shades today with me so this is what the packaging looks like it's a very sleek black packaging with smashbox written over here and you have the shade shown on the top for example these two lipsticks that i have they have the shades shown at the top so this is what the shades will look like in the bullet and uh, these are the shades that i have uh, stepping out and not today so stepping out is a deep nude and not today is a peachy nude so now i'll swatch these on my lips and uh, talk to you guys about the formula by the way this is what the bullet looks like it's got an x on top which of course fades when you apply the lipstick but this is what the shape of the bullet is it's very very unique and it's very good for applying lipstick because it perfectly hugs the shape of your so this is what my bare lips look like as you can see my upper lip is pretty pigmented and now i'm going to swatch the lipstick not today as you can see one swipe full pigment this is a peachy neutral shade so it's leaning more towards peach uh, side it has a little bit of brown and pink undertones but it's mostly peach so as you can see the lipstick is completely matte finish it, as soon as it comes in contact with air it starts turning matte and now i'll do the transfer test just to show you guys what i mean as you can see here very very slight uh, transfer very slight because it's still uh, turning matte so I'll do the transfer test again after some time you can keep making it matte by pressing your lips together so I'll do it this side because there is no as you can see now it's not transferring before it transferred just lightly but now it's not transferring anymore because now it has fully dried down matte so this is the shade not today so the next shade that i'm going to swatch is stepping out and it's a deep nude shade So as you can see it's a very beautiful brown shade which looks like a perfect nude and again the same matte finish it goes on very creamy it's very lightweight but it turns into a matte finish which is very long lasting so this is stepping out 
so now let me tell you a little bit more info about these lipsticks um these are not the first lipstick that i've tried that changes from a cream to matte finish this is definitely not the first one i know smashbox is like you know kind of making it sound like a revolutionary product like this kind of product does not even exist on the market but it already does this technology of cream to matte finish already was first done by sephora collection the reason i know this is because i used to have this lipstick from sephora collection and i used it many times and it's exactly the same thing it's exactly the same thing as the smashbox lipsticks it has a cream formula and changes into a matte finish so i'll show you the shade that i have with me right now which is this one this is what the sephora collection lipsticks look like this is uh, the shade indicated at the top and you have the label at the bottom which shows you the shade name and number i'm sorry it shows only the shade number so this one is number four so this one it's called brown is back it's a very popular shade it's a brown nude shade this one is going to be very suitable for medium to deeper skin tones because it's a it's not a very light nude it's a very dark nude shade so this is what the lipstick looks like as you can see it looks very creamy even in the bullet it looks very creamy let me try to focus but uh, actually it transforms into a matte finish after applying it on the lips so this one is the first lipstick that i actually know had this cream to matte finish so if you want uh, to try this kind of lipstick which is different which transforms like this you can try sephora collection as well because this is more affordable than smashbox and the other dupe that i found same thing again cream to matte finish is from k beauty now k beauty is an indian brand so much easier to get in india and k beauty has the same concept same same concept it's a creamy lipstick when you are applying and it transforms into a very matte finish when it's dried so k beauty is available easily you can get it on nika or anywhere else and uh, i would say for the shades that i have from smashbox the popular uh, the dupes would be papped for stepping out and for not today it would be fraternity so if you want to buy uh, not today from smashbox if you like that shade then buy if you want to dupe buy fraternity from k beauty if you want to buy stepping out from smashbox you can buy papped so they are very very similar in color and the formula is exactly the same you don't have to spend a lot of money on smashbox i bought these lipsticks because i wanted to try out and see what the shades were like but honestly it's not something revolutionary you already have sephora and k beauty or in the market selling the same formula so you can just try out any of these lipsticks if you want and if you want to try out smashbox and you love smashbox then it's up to you you can definitely go out and buy this lipsticks because these are all of these lipsticks are really good they really are good so i highly recommend any of these lipsticks i would say stay away from smashbox if budget is a problem it's very expensive so if you can afford it fine if you don't want to or cannot afford it then k beauty is the cheapest in this lot so yeah i hope you guys like this review and please subscribe to my channel for more videos and i'll see you guys in my next video bye